Last time on Heli Cool's Helipad, I pulled all of these C Eve Perlin brackets apart and painted them up and got them ready for installation. Stay tuned, there's much more to learn and pitfalls to avoid coming up next. All right, I just tightened up this side, make sure that it is more or less or very close to level, straight up and down. And now I am leveling this side, put a little clamp on there to hold things in place, and then sending it with a driver. You know, one thing I can say as I move forward with this project is the pain and suffering that I went through to get to this part, um, I'm, I think it's gonna be worth it. I think it's gonna be worth it to you if you take on this project too. Um, it is a major pain to get all of these brackets up, get them all welded. I mean, we're talking hours and hours of labor. Well, let's just call it like it is. Days and days of labor, um, as well as moving the Connex. But all of that is starting to pay off now that I'm seeing this go up. And as much as I really didn't like it at first, doing all this extra work, I'm really starting to like it now. The next day. What I finished up last night, as you can see, I actually left the, <laughs> the level, uh, you know, on that girt wall column. What I finished up was uh, tightening up, tightening up where it mounts to the connex onto my fabricated bracket and also tightening up the lower uh, girt wall or whatever you'd call that, whatever the engineering prints call it. Um, I've tightened up all of that, but I've also made sure that it is level, um, going up as straight as I possibly can, um, and making sure that it has the best possibility of fitting the roof. What I'm going to do with the other side is I'm going to leave this side loose so that when I put the roof truss on, it will uh, be at least a little bit... I'm able to move around a little bit and hopefully I can uh, wiggle things into place if it just needs a little bit of nudging. So all of this side is loose. All of the other side has been tightened up and I am going to put on the upper girt, whatever you call it. It's basically the piece that goes across here. I'm going to put that on and tighten it up. Make sure this side is actually good to go. All right, just staging for the next event. Going to be putting on these uh, C Eve Perlin brackets. And going to be uh, adding also the Eve Perlin. All right, coming up. few moments later. This includes staging the Eve Perlins. They are nine feet, every single one of them. They are 90 degree at this end. And they kind of uh, taper out this way. So it's a uh, six inches, six inches on the back side and roughly about seven inches on the front side. There's something I just realized, even though that uh, this is the um, column for the girt wall and this is a wall girt. As you can see that they are pictured so that the outside edge is facing up. That's the way they're pictured, right? Okay, let's go to these, this little fine print here, this little detail. Um, that little arrow, outside flange of girt points up. That little arrow, outside flange of girt points down. 
points down, points down, 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 down. Every single one of them point down. Why would you even have that little note? And why would you have this depicting it facing up? Okay, well, let's um, pull all of these off and turn them around. I always thought it was odd that if it was pointing up like that, that it could collect water and then bring it in toward the center. No, that's not right. That is what it should look like. All right. That looks better and is more intuitive to me. All right, guys, so this is an Eve strut or an Eve Perlin. Even the manufacturer doesn't even know what it is. So we're just gonna call it whatever that we want. It's not exactly clear how it is supposed to go up onto these, but I am going to assume that the beveled edge, the, the edge that isn't quite square, is going to be facing up or at least going toward the center of the, the peak of the roof. What I'm going to use... Sorry about all the shaking and whatnot because this thing is just sitting up here on the Connex with me. What I'm going to use are these to help clamp them together so I can do this as a one-person job. DIY, right? Sorry for all the wind noise. When you do this, make sure that you use a level so that you can make sure that the girt columns are going up level. And generally speaking, you're going to want to have that um, intermediate girt column, the eave purlin, attached to the center of that C bracket. But you will have some adjustability. The main part is to keep things level. All right, there we go. And you're probably wondering, hey, uh, hey Dave, uh, why is that not up? Well, you see, it um, comes down to paying very, very close attention, which um, I thought that I did eh, on that one. Um, I started welding it up there. I knew I was just a little bit off the mark. I didn't realize just how far off the mark I was. I thought I was just going to go ahead and go with it, but um, no, I, I think I want to do it right. I'm going to end up cutting that bracket off a second time and re-welding it. Yeah. Anyway, that's why I haven't finished this up here, um, but I'll get to it. It's getting later in the evening, and I'm going to stop filming. If I can fix it tonight, that'd be great. I'll show you tomorrow. Sound like a plan? Thank you. The next day. This is the month of August. So in Western Washington, we get absolutely almost no rain whatsoever. Except for the last couple of days. Even though I ground this last night, it already has rust. Sweet. I also want to take this opportunity to give a heartfelt thank you to my good buddy, Mike Moffat, who loaned me his welding extension cable without, with, without which, I still have to adjust this a little better, without which I would not have been able to get the welding done that I actually did. So Mike, thank you so very much. Um, I think this might be the last time I'm going to tell you that I'm actually done because I might actually be done. But you know what? If I say that, 
it'll probably jinx me and I won't be done and I'll have to use it again. But at least I'm done before the end of the month, which is what I thought that I would be. I also want to thank my wonderful, lovely wife who got tired of me complaining that I had spots in my eyes after welding. So she bought me this really nice welding helmet, which I have to say is pretty dang cool. I like it and I got a new welding helmet out of it. So guys, complain a little bit to your wives. There's something like, you know, hey, I'm, I'm getting blinded by this. You might end up with a nice new gift. Speaking of new gifts, is there anybody out there that would like to donate a nice new tractor? Well, here's a neat little trick for you. You only got a little bit of paint left in there. And, uh, well, this brush is garbage. With these plastic containers and latex paint, it all comes out. And you can reuse this. Hey, there's some liquid paint in the bottom there. Cool. Bonus. Incredible. It looks just like the first two times that I put that up there. No worse for wear. Once you got paint on it, nobody's going to tell. Let's keep it a secret, okay? Note of caution, uh, when it is raining, which it commonly does here in Western Washington, um, it can be very slick on the roof of a Connex. So public service announcement, just watch what you're doing up here. My goal is basically to just get this last little piece done and then I have to start coping. So I'm hoping that I don't have to cope with uh, falling off of this. Sorry for the dad joke. And here's another little trick. Every single one of these is just a little bit off. Okay? Just a little bit. Get yourself a ratchet strap. I measured. Every single one is exactly the same. So when I pull on this, it's going to level all of them. I like it. Don't believe me? Let's just check. Oh. Oh. I can continue all the way down to the end. They're all the same. You see what I did is I planned ahead. Okay? I planned um, and, and leveled every single one of these columns exactly the same and it was just a, just a, a little bit off so i just planned to attach all of these at the exact same bubble and then pull it level at the end have a plan in place if you fail to plan you plan to fail once you get this side of the eve perlin nailed down screwed down and this is level all you gotta do is to bring your level over here and adjust this column. Once it's adjusted, screw it into place. This is the part of the video where you're going to have to start coping. No! Oh no, 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 no. 
Hey, I'll cover that and much more next time. Until then, I'm Dave Anderson signing out. You guys be safe out there and God bless. Nope. Oh no!